Over the years, Sister Ethel has been awarded with many accolades and recognitions, including Port Elizabeth Person of the Year and Clare Person of the Year. She was even visited by Mother Teresa and Queen Elizabeth. Two wonderful ladies, two wonderful ladies, and I loved their visit. Now, I didn't think Mother Teresa came to see me. I was doing a dressing on a man's leg, and he had no bandages or anything, only leaves. And I had no forceps, I had no uh, rubber gloves, I had nothing, only my skin. And um, here I took off the, the leaves, and it was crawling with maggots, you know. And several people came and said to me, Mother Teresa has called you. And I said, now this man, you know, you should see his leg, it was terrible. There's no way I could leave the man like that. But I said, she'll have to wait for a few minutes because, I mean, this dressing has to be done, you know. And I did do the dressing and I gave him his pain tablets. And fortunately, I had a crutch. And when I came to her, she gave me a big hug and, um, you know, I welcomed her and it, it was wonderful. It was during my visit to South Africa last March that I witnessed a glowing example of how the inspiration and energy of one person can benefit thousands of others. I didn't know what the Queen looked like. And um, so, you know, any amount of cars came into the yard and um, this lady came out, an elegant, tall, elegant lady came out. She had a white dress with red spots in it and a lovely red hat. And I went, I thought she was the Queen. So I went to greet her. And um, this man caught me and he said, Ethel, she's not the Queen. So I said, and who is she? So then this little lady came out and she was, oh, she was lovely. Well, she asked me three times, what keeps you here? It is the volunteers and the sister Ethels of this world who spread that message, and it is for the rest of us to welcome it.